Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Panama Shots. Welcome to Panama. So this time we're going to the railroad company who has a communication between Panama City and Colon City. Panama City is at south of the country and Colon City is at north of the country. So the idea is to get into this train. You can see here right now um, we got some small tour on the wagons of the train for passengers who were designed several de uh, years ago. This is a company who developed this railroad for transportation mainly of passengers and um, cargo. In 1850 they started the construction of the lines and they finished around if I'm not wrong, January of 1955. The whole section is about 76.6 kilometers or 47.5 miles uh, from the city of Panama to the city of Colón. It technically goes from ocean to ocean, one side of the canal to the other side of the canal. The reason why this railroad was built in the in 19 sorry 1850s was due to uh, the interest of making transportation of mail and people from one side of the U.S. to the other side uh, on the coal fever time basically during the construction of this railroad about 10,000 people died due to yellow fever and malaria and other elements related to the aggressive environment that had at the moment in the jungle of Panama. So you can see here some nice view from the uh, can, uh, canal from inside the uh, train and basically the train goes along on one of the sides of the canal, most of the trajectory of the, of the line from Panama City to Cologne. There is um, some interesting history uh, about this construction because initially the company who was interested in building the railroad gathered about one million dollars to make the construction of the of this railway but they had run out of money by the time they only had finished about 15% or under 20% of the whole construction but fortunately one day when they were running out of money they had a situation there was a storm and a company who was bringing passengers could not go through the uh, river that was supposed to do part of the trajectory from Colón to Panama City and they offer the transportation to these people and they charge for the cargo and the people so that way they could actually raise more money to actually continue the construction and that's what technically saved the construction and finalization of the whole uh, line from Colón to Panama City. So here you can see some of the cranks that are used on the canal currently. Also, this is part of the canal. Interesting part of the uh, section that goes on the railway goes above a uh, section of waters. And that's interesting. Here we can see um, some of the people who gather for this uh, trajectory. So currently the company is trying to create some tourism opportunities by letting people go from one side to the other in a short uh, trajectory, uh, making it easy for people to feel what is going from Panama City to the other side and go back rapidly in the next two three hours it usually takes about one hour to go from one city to the other um, but in this case 
the whole process takes about two two and a half hours on a regular basis the train starts or, or departures from Panama City at 7.15 and ends in Colón in one hour and then in the afternoon about 5.15 it comes back from Colón to Panama City so in this project that this currently they, they currently have the idea is so you can actually feel what it is and here's some uh, little treats so people can have during the, the travel and on, on the train uh, you can access water and, and juices by demand and, and you can request it if you want to there's much on, on liquids so uh, what I did is that I also walked the whole section from one end to the other and surprisingly all the wagons were full with people and kids. I was not expecting this much of a people inside the the train, and it was actually very nice to see all, all the people here were were interested in on, on experiencing this travel from one city to the other. Most of them were were tourism, uh, but that's what makes it even more interesting. The other interesting part is that uh, you can see the whole the, the whole train is actually uh, vintage type. So you can see the woods that actually uh, have a nice decoration. The, the chairs and the and the floor it's actually vintage. It's actually very nice. So there are several wagons, regular views, and, and you can see that there was one that has a panoramic view. That's the one, fortunately, we were able to access and we were able to do some filming. And it was actually very nice. You can see everything from, from there. So it took, it took about five years to be able to finish this project. And thanks to that, half century later the canal was able to be built because this railroad was helping the Panama Canal construction to be built thanks to the fact that they were able to transport cargo and equipment to be able to finish the whole construction of the canal. During that process the r railway um, had a certain path and it has to be changed because part of the canal was uh, using part of the part of the area where the where the drill was and they have to flood the whole section so they have to change the lines to another portion and that's why you can see there are part of the railway most likely there are over water because they had to they had to change it so they still was next to the to the canal but they have to change it uh, so the rail was not on the water basically here coming back um, you can see some of the chips that goes through the canal this railway um, technically could go up to 80 to 100 kilometers per hour but I could only measure at a time that we went up to 79 kilometers per hour. Maybe, maybe it, it was just because of the whole tourism experience and that's why they didn't do it faster. So there's actually a nice section where you go through this tunnel and everyone was screaming. But I mean, it was just like, the idea was just to kids playing around basically. So here you can see the city of knowledge. This is one. This is a techno park in Panama that actually allows uh, construction of, of ideas, entrepreneurship, and other companies who are building concepts to grow. So that's another story for another day. Here's part of the canal um, uh, areas. You can see some of the 
infrastructure that goes around the canal. So we're about to finish. I want to thank uh, the president of the company, Tom Maskina, and also uh, all the personnel who were very friendly and very nice with, the, with us. And I actually think if you can do this trip on the train, do it. Um, right now, they're only do it for tourism purposes, but it's worth to see it because you can actually do the canal at the same time and you can watch the whole process if you want to go into a ship into the canal go from ocean to ocean and this takes only two hours so it's actually very nice to do i recommend it anyone who is coming to panama and have the time to do it it's something that is worth doing i hope you have enjoyed this little episode um, and probably see you next time in another one have a good day